Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and this uh, uh, video is going to be a little different than a lot of them but uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. We had a, a real windstorm last night. It wasn't a it wasn't a thunderstorm, just a heavy wind, and uh, so that did some that broke some limbs off of a, a tree across the street. But before we go look at that tree, I want you to notice when my son moved into this house uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, there were three beautiful trees in his backyard, and uh, over the uh, past summer. One of the trees, this one that we're looking at coming into view, um, it lost all of its leaves, and it just like it died. Well, we couldn't figure that out. Thought maybe the or the rodents were getting to the roots or something. And then the tree next to it started le losing its leaves. And so my uh, daughter-in-law, she went to the uh, nursery, and they gave her some stuff to put around the, uh, the uh, trunk of the tree, and that stopped it, and of course, then green leaves started uh, coming out on it. So we're hoping that it's going to be okay. But the problem was uh, grub worms. Grub worms were uh, uh, doing whatever they do, and that killed the tree. So hopefully, we've got that uh, that middle one saved. And of course, we saved the. Uh, <laughs> they hadn't gotten over to the to the third one yet. So anyway, those are uh, those are our trees in the backyard, or my son's trees, I should say. And as we come around here, uh, there's a tree over here that I have flown around, flown over, flown past, I don't know how many times. And uh, I, I can tell you it's about 70 feet tall because I've measured that. And um, the uh, uh, windstorm last night, knocked a whole bunch of limbs off of it because it too is dying. Now, I don't think it's dying because of grub worms. When, when we first saw this house and uh, we were looking at it, I noticed that tree. The cows in this uh, pasture have uh, eaten the bark off the bottom of it, and there was still some bark left uh, when my son moved in. But as you might notice here as we're flying around it, uh, they've eaten all the bark around the trunk, right down uh, up, down near the ground, and up to, oh, I don't know, six feet or so. And so, uh, as you can see, the windstorm last night was uh, pretty pretty much uh, knocked a whole bunch of limbs down. Another reason uh, I like this tree and hate to see it die is because there was a bald eagle that made its home up in the top of that tree. And uh, there goes <laughs> there goes the doves. They're trying to figure me out. And that spot right there, I took uh, I took some videos of that eagle when he actually uh, somebody either shot him or he fell uh, to the ground. And he, uh, you can see the video the uh, pictures there that uh, it just almost it broke my heart. Over on the upper left hand corner, I just missed running into a limb. <laughs> Because I'm climbing up here, and uh, so in the process, I almost ran into that limb. I'm still going to crash my drone yet, one way or another. So as we come around here, uh, I'll take a look at this tree. I've got uh, a lot of videos I watch from my friends over in Europe, and they're always circling around uh, castles and things that are many centuries or year, many century years old. Centuries. <laughs> Anyway, uh, and it's very interesting, uh, this is about all I've got to circle around, and I don't know if it's even one century old, but it was a beautiful tree a uh, year and a half ago, had lots of uh, foliage on it, and like I say, that's where the uh, the eagle made its home. I'll put a link to, uh, to that video if you want to watch it. Uh, it's called The Eagle Has Landed. Anyway, so as we come up around here and look at this tree, I want to tell you a story about my dad, um, and I, I, in the last video I entered, I introduced him, or two videos back, he's a super, super guy. Well, anyway, he worked in Wyoming, he worked uh, and finally got on a job with United Airlines, where he, his first job was where he uh, uh, scrubbed the bottoms of the wings right behind the engine where the exhaust makes all those black marks. Well, they gave him some kind of a, a detergent of some kind, 
that really remove the the stain and that you know they gave him a bucket and a rag and and that's what he did when he first started of course nobody used rubber gloves back then nobody knew that the chemicals were going to kill people and uh just like breathing um asbestos uh absorbing that stuff into the skin eventually was his demise when he was uh, 83 years old so anyway but that's what he did and then he i think i mentioned that he wanted to get into radio school well as he was working for united airlines i believe as i remember the story that they actually sent him to radio school back in chicago he was living in cheyenne and i don't know how long he went there but they taught him how to work uh, on radios in the uh, the radio shop there uh, in uh, Cheyenne Wyoming's uh, airport well eventually uh so that's what he did and eventually they transferred him at the end of the war in 1946 they transferred him to um to Seattle and he worked at Boeing field as the same thing worked in the radio shop worked on airplane radios and so uh that was uh that was probably a very <laughs> pleasing thing although uh moving from Cheyenne to to uh Washington was some kind of a <laughs> a trip because the first car that they they had when my mom and dad were married was an old Marquette I'll put a picture up of that and uh they're now a valuable antique but uh, that they just ran it till it died and then I think they got a used uh, 1937 Plymouth. And that's what uh, I remember that I was riding around in all the time <laughs> was that 1937 Plymouth. Usually I was in the back seat. So uh, they made that trip from Cheyenne to uh, to the Seattle area. And I think they made it a couple times in the process of the move. By the way, there's another tree that's dying because it's got, uh, uh, I think it got the, the grub worms. But anyway, so that was the car that they had, and uh, they, <laughs> my dad had a screwdriver in the driver's side window to keep it from falling down into the door. Uh, it was a piece of junk, as I remember when I was a, when I was a little kid. So anyway, uh, as we come into land, uh, that's the story of my dad and a picture of my favorite tree that's dying. And I want to thank you for watching my videos, and God bless.